Welcome to video number 20 of Excel for Stock Market series where we publish 30 different Excel templates and explain them in 30 videos in 30 days. In today's video, we will be talking about the concept behind the Relative Strength Index or the RSI indicator, and which is one of the more popular technical indicators used by traders. And I'll explain the concept first, and then we will talk about how you can use our template to automatically calculate this indicator for any stock symbol that you're interested in. If you have not watched the previous videos in this series, please check them out um, and we will provide a link to the playlist. As well as if you want to download any of the templates that we talk about in this series, please check them out on inzara.com. Now let's get started with the concept behind the RSI indicator first. In order to you know, illustrate how it works. Um, we're going to have a starting point because this calculation, let's talk about on the first day, how we calculate the RSI. And then on the subsequent days, we calculate differently. So there is a difference in um, how this works. So let me start with, we have the, all the trading days here, and then the closing price of each of the, on, on each of those days for a specific stock. Okay. So that's the starting point. Now, first we need to calculate the gain or the loss. So the gain or the loss is calculated as whether the closing price today, is it greater than yesterday or not? So if it is greater, then it's a gain. So we calculate the gain. And let's say for the next day, there is no gain. So what we do here is we say there's no gain. So if it is no gain, then put zero. Similarly, we calculate the loss. So if there is no loss, then zero. If there is loss, then you say, yeah, there is a loss of $19.90 on um, February 16th. So that's a loss. So we calculate the gains similarly, and then the loss for all the data points. Okay, that's, we have done that first step. Now, here's where the fun begins. So we need to calculate the average gain and I'm using a 14 day period, which is very commonly used um, parameter. So let's say we want to do this for 14 periods, right? So we start from day 14 because we cannot calculate for a 14 period uh, gain uh, until the 14th period. So we start our calculations on day 14. On day 14, the calculation for average gain is we just take a simple average of the gain in all those 14 days, right? It's pretty straightforward. Take the average, that's your average gain. Then we calculate the average loss. Again, straightforward. You already know the loss on every day. You take the average for the 14 days, there you have it. Now, once we have the average gain and the average loss, the, the formula here for um, relative strength RS is nothing but take the average gain divided by average loss. So if I look at the formula for RS or the relative strength is nothing but take the average gain divided by average loss. Great. And then finally, the relative strength index is having the simple formula 100 minus 100 times one plus relative strength. So using that I arrive at 25 is the RSI for March 14th. So that's the first day. For the first possible day of calculation for RSI, we take the average gain, take the average loss, average gain divided by average loss is your relative strength. Then we convert that into an index, 100 minus 100 times one plus RS. So that is the um, RSI calculation for the first day. Now, when we go to the next day, things change. So when we go to the next day, average gain from day 15, right? That's the second possible day of calculation is now we need to take into account what was the average gain the previous day. So this formula will be um, for um, March 5th, you will take the average gain from March 4th, multiply it by 13 and then add current gain on March 5th. So basically you're giving 13 weights to the previous day's average gain and you give one point weight to the current gain and now you divide the total by 14. So this is how you calculate the average day, average gain moving forward. 
So give 13 weights to the previous day's average gain and then use the current gain, day, current day's gain and then divide it by 14. So the same thing for the loss side also. You take the previous day's average loss, you assign 13 points or you multiply it by 13 and then you add the current day's loss and then you divide it by 14. So now this gives you the average loss for March 5th. The RS and the RSI calculations are the same. They don't change. The RS relative strength is always average gain divided by average loss. And then the RSI uses the same formula. This doesn't change. It's only the average loss and average gain. There are two different formulas depending on whether it's the first day or the subsequent days. Okay. Um, hopefully it's not too confusing. Again, if it is confusing, please post your feedback in the comments below and I will do a better job to explain uh, with more um, numbers and clear calculations step by step and everything. And um, in the interest of time, I'm trying to go um, focus more on the template and less on the concept. But if you'd like me to do more on the concept, please let me know. Okay, so now this is how we can calculate the RSI and you can see that the RSI is a number that will be between 0 and 100 um, for any given day. And now for the second part of the video, I will talk about how you can use our template to calculate this. If I go to the RSI sheet and you can download this template from nzara.com for free. Now on the top left, so this is our template. If you have seen any of our previous videos, this chart now looks very familiar. Um, we tried to keep it exactly the same format for continuity. Uh, and um, so I can go ahead and type in MSFT for Microsoft. And there we go. Again, it took maybe a second and a half, two seconds. Um, great speed and uh, from, from the Microsoft service in terms of giving the data um, into Excel. So for Microsoft stock symbol, now we have instantly calculated the RSI indicator. The RSI indicator is represented in the orange line that you see. And by default, the RSI, as I mentioned, it will be between 0 and 100. So we have set 0 and 100 as the limits here. But we also have a little band and the band is between 30 and 70. So basically RSI between 30 and 70 are considered more neutral. And if it goes above or below the band, then there is an interesting signal there. And so that's why we have this gray area, which is indicating an RSI band. And the blue line is the closing price line. And you can change this closing price line to something else. If you want to display the high price, then you can change that and now it'll update. So I'm gonna use close because that's the more commonly used default value. Now the blue line is the closing price, the orange line is the RSI, and you have the band. You can now um, change the window of uh, the chart by going, for example, I wanna see one year, I want to see even five years, um, you can change this time period. So let me go back to three months. There's only one interesting data point. And I'm not seeing any anywhere i'm looking for if the um, rsi will go below 30 but i'm not seeing it for the stock let me just try something else tesla and there is one one point where it goes below so let's use this example for this illustration so i want to talk about the the blue sorry the green buy and then the red sell signal strategies this is based on when the RSI indicator actually goes above this gray band, um, which is a, you know going beyond 70, then I'm saying that's a that's a sell signal. So for example, here, um, this we are calling it as a sell signal because the uh, RSI point was 71.86 on that day. So it went above 70. So I'm saying, hey, that's a sell signal strategy um, signal. And then when it goes below, for example, on March 8th, the RSI went to 26.79, which is below the 30, then it is considered as a buy signal event. Okay, now these 30 and 70 and these strategies are more, you know, from what I read, that's what 
um, has been listed as more commonly used. And again, there's no set rule. This is how you need to do it. You can change this if you'd like. So you can check out the trading view article about the RSI. And obviously there's a lot more information on the web that you may come across about that. But if you decide to change the 30 and 70 to be something else, no problem. Let's say for example, I, I say RSI minimum should be 40. So I just type 40 in here and now you start seeing more um, opportunities or signal events that will start popping up, right? So maybe I say 40 to 80 is my band. So you can define your own bands accordingly. You can also change the length. Again, the more common option is 14. Uh, if you remember in the concept explanation, I was saying we take the average gain on 14 periods, right? And it doesn't have to be 14. If you decide to do something else, you can. So I've given you the option here uh, to type. Maybe it's 12 periods, maybe it's 20 periods, whatever it is, you can change it. You can also change in this template the interval of measurement. So from daily, and if I want to measure weekly, then I can change it. And now when you do weekly, everything becomes weekly, right? So the, every, every week there is a data point. And also when we said 14 is the period length, now it will be 14 weeks. It won't be 14 days, it'll be 14 weeks. So, I mean, highly dynamic and uh, try to capture as much as possible you know, what you get from these trading platforms in terms of the functionality, try to create it as much as possible um, in Excel dynamically for you. So download this template from inzara.com and just type in your own stock symbol. And now all of this will get automatically updated. Now, a little bit of a, you know, behind the scenes view. So if you go to unhide into the help sheet, you can see how all the calculations are done. And as I explained, the average gain, average loss, RS, RSI, all of those are um, calculated using formulas. And the one thing I want to show here is the signal. So the signal, as I was explaining, what is uh, an up, um, sorry, the sell or the buy signal, that's being done using the simple formula. If you decide to change the strategy, this is where you need to change it. You don't need to worry about anything else. Just change this formula and then the, the chart will immediately reflect your changes. So if again, you have any suggestions on um, you know other things to be added to this template or modifications, please uh, look forward to your suggestions and feedback. As I've indicated many times, I'm, I'm not an active trader. I am not an expert in these um, technical indicators. What I am uh, interested in and excited is taking these mathematical concepts and the fact that Microsoft now provides this you know, live data into Excel, now how can we automate these things and uh, make this an interactive uh, analysis tool in Excel? So that's what I'm focusing on. So if you have suggestions on the trading side, please uh, look forward to your feedback. Please put them in the comments below. And so we have come to the end of another video. So we have completed 20 videos uh, with this. So I'm really excited. We have 10 more videos to go this month. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so now. And if you would um, like to download these templates, please visit inzara.com. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow.